Hello everyone, and welcome back to the next episode of DRNG. Today we'll be doing our scout mission. This build is a, a little off the wall, so let's get right into it. Alright, so here's our scout build. I already randomized the weapon skins and put our build in. But uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a pretty nasty one. So we thankfully do have charge speed and killer focus to offset the focus shot damage reduction of electrifying focus shot. So this is uh, not a horrible build, but still not something I'm a fan of. And then we have probably the worst possible build for embedded detonators. We have damage instead of ammo, reload speed, which is whatever, damage, ac or blow through rounds instead of ammo, and get in, get out, which is whatever. But this keeps us all the way down at 280 ammo for embedded debts, which is not a lot. We have normal pickaxe, a subpar flare gun, a janky grapple hook, uh, and we have cryo grenades, thankfully, and then we have horrible armor mods. So. We could uh, definitely have done better, but without further ado, we'll go ahead and uh, randomize the pickaxe as is customary. Looks pretty good. Randomize our body cosmetics. Okay. And we will use a random number generator to pick our mission. So we've got eight available missions. Let's see what it's going to be. All right. And the wheel says seven. So that is going to be a rival presence six egg mission that's gonna be rough but i think we'll be okay all right let's get started all right electrifying focus shot so we're gonna be using pretty much only focus shots and then we have embedded debts which is gonna function pretty much the same as normal we just have significantly less ammo for it all right we don't have a lot of ammo for the m1000 either so this is gonna be rough this is, okay, this is an incredibly small map because this is a lot of resources in the starting room. Gotta get used to high velocity ejection system on the grappling hook as well. Taking me off way faster than I'm used to. Alright, we do have blow through. Alright, that's not too shabby. Oh, the, the lack of accuracy on embedded debts is a little, a little sketchy. Alright. We're getting through it, though. We're gonna be okay. We actually have auto-reload on the flare gun, so that's a nice little convenience. And the one time you'll ever see this... Hover boots. Alright, rival presence. To contend with. Never leave home without it's a bug thing. Feel lost without it. We do have a Hooli Hoarder. I'd like to try to get that. This turret controller is in a pretty sketchy spot. Not sure how I'm feeling about this. Okay, those we can probably ignore. And just get down to the actual core. Oh, we have Berserker. Good. Forgot about that. Make use of that while we can. A lot of minerals in this mission. If we actually manage to live through this, this will be pretty lucrative. Alright, here's our chance to kill this. The loot bug turned me. Unbelievable. It's okay, we're using all of our embedded debts, but it's fine. Okay. We got through it. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the least ammo efficient build of all time. Oh, at least this nitro fell right here. Alright, we just need to pick off these repulsor turrets, and we'll be able to get down there. They should have shields up right now, it's just a visual glitch. Alright, what are we dealing with? That one's actually vulnerable. Gotta move back and forth to stay clear of this turret on our right. Wrong button for hover boots. 
Don't get grabbed. Oh my goodness. Okay, we should be good now. If we can get into this hole. Okay. There we go. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're gonna have to resupply up here. We don't really have much of a choice. Rather unfortunate. Wasn't looking to do that yet. We don't have the normal damage reduction from Hipster, so we can actually kind of try to one-shot some of these enemies. But we also don't have armor break, so we have to be more precise. We're just getting held up here in this corner, which is not great. Alright, let's try again. Okay. That's half of the rival presence challenge done. It just feels like the, all the fall damage I'm mitigating with hover boots is so negligible anyways, but if I actually wait until I go into a situation where I take an actual bad fall, it's either not going to be ready, or I'm just not going to be fast enough to react to use it anyways. Like, situations like that, I can just do a nice little strafe jump and get the thing without taking any fall damage anyways. Just never feels like I have a calculated use of it ready to go. You have precision tear, so this isn't going to be a. These aren't going to be good or clean fights, but they are going to be relatively safe for us. So we can keep the enemies feared pretty well. It's just a matter of killing them at the same time. gonna be long and difficult fights, but I think we're gonna get through them. Electricity really doesn't make up for the focus shot damage reduction. On big enemies like this especially. really doesn't help also that Bosco is already electrifying them, so it's like we really don't even have an overclock, just a damage reduction. Honestly, it almost behooves me more to just go for hip shots, as it's less impacted by the, the overclock's damage reduction. We'll get a little bit more ammo, a little bit more nitro in the bank, and we should be good to walk it in from there. Alright, two more resupplies should be more than enough. It looks like all of our eggs are in front of us, so let's just get get cracking. Just gonna pull until I get my next swarm. Alright, it'll be three eggs at the same time. Be a nice little test of this build. As middling as it is, I'll try to take advantage of the electricity. Keep as many bugs as I can electrified. Cryos are really backing up our damage quite a bit here. But don't get me wrong, the embedded deaths are still good. It's just the extreme lack of ammo is very painful. One. We actually killed that Praetorium with the resupply. We 
We are going to have to get some spacing here to be able to get this resupply. Try to wrangle everything up in here if we can. That should be enough. Okay, now we just need to worry about stacking these enemies up so we can actually deal with them. Elemental insulation is helping out quite a bit. Taking a stupid amount of damage. Okay. Not too shabby. Let's see if we can use this resupply pod hole to get up in here. Okay, very nice. And this should be our last one over here. Oh, hello. All right. After the initial terror, this is a resource. Use this to get our slams in. Get Bosco to pull that egg. Help us deal with the stuff that it spawns. Oof, not having the winch is... Very concerning with the bulk slamming. Okay. Okay, that seems like just about everything. Let's try to get ourselves out of here now. Let's go to deal with him for a moment. Cool. Gotta think of where I'm gonna go whenever these bombs start flying. Okay. Oh yeah, we still need to get that helmet, don't we? I have a plan. Should get it no problem. Get all the goodies and be out of here. Used to having more air speed. It's a little sketchy. Bosco, you're going to be too slow to get the gold. Come on. Yep, we're out of here. Alright. Not too shabby. It was definitely a, a scary build with a lack of ammo, but thankfully that cave generation was really good. We had a lot of nitro available. And that about does it for the scout episode of DRNG. Now, I thought this one was pretty difficult, but the gunner one might be the hardest of all. So stay tuned. If you'd like to join and be a YouTube member and get your name in the credits of every video, as well as some other perks that are listed if you press the button, you can check out the join button down below. If you'd like to catch me live, I stream over on Twitch. If you'd like to talk to me or my community members about random DRG builds, you can find us over on Discord. And as always, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.